Hi, it's Kerry here, and I'll get started with the tutorials by double-clicking on the alias icon to open the software. And if it's the first time you've opened alias, you'll get this screen, and I recommend that you choose the default workflow. So you might want to select Don't Show Again, and then choose Default. And this default will give you access to all of the alias tools, and it's the one I'll be using in these tutorials. So now that we're into alias, let's get a car model to look at. So I'll do a file open, and it takes you to the default location here. Now I'm using a PC, but if you're on a Mac, then the path should be similar. But I just want to take a moment now to look at the alias file system. And the important directory here is user underscore data. And when you first use alias, there's only two directories in here. The dumpster, which is a legacy file that we don't use anymore, so we can ignore it. And demo, which is just an empty starter project, which contains subdirectories for all the different types of data you may create on a project. And again, these are all empty to start with. Now, don't be put off by this long list, because there's only two key directories that we'll be using. The first one is the wire directory, which holds all your geometry. That's wireframe geometry, as well as any shaders or colours we've used. And it also stores some construction settings used to specify, for example, the units used and the accuracy that the model is built to. Now we cover this properly in later tutorials, but it comes up when we open a file, so I wanted to just mention it now. The second one is the PIX directory, and this can hold reference sketches, texture maps, and screen grabs and renders that we might create. Now if you've downloaded all the tutorial files, then you need to add them to your user data directory and then you'll see the full list of projects that we'll be using. And in your professional work, this will be populated with the design projects that you're working on. And finally, Alias has this concept of a current project, which you use to set the default directory for where you want to store your design data. So that's what we'll do first. So if I now go back to Alias, and click back up to User Data, and you can see that I've got the demo project, the dumpster, and all the tutorial projects. So if I select the Fundamentals 1 project, and then come down here and click on Set Current, then that takes me into the wire directory of that project, which will now be the default path. So now I can open up this first tutorial model, which is Sam's concept car. And I'll be asked if I want to clear my previous model, which is just this empty grid and scene, so I'll answer yes. And then I get the question about those construction options I mentioned. And we don't need to look at these in detail yet. Just accept the new settings that come with the new model you're opening. And then we can see Sam's design concept model. Now, up here on the top right, we've got the standard Autodesk View Cube. And I just need to click and drag on it to tumble the model. And I can switch to a top view by clicking on this face or to a left view, or a front view. And then I can just click and drag again. And there are also three-quarter and 45 degree views that you can click on as well. Now to make this a bit more fun to look at, you can shade up the car using this Viz1 shader. And that applies the colours that Sam has already set up on his model. And if you want to, you can also use this Show button at the top of the window to turn off the model, which is the wireframe display. And you can also turn off the grid as well if you want to. But be careful with this if you then turn the shading off using this icon here, because it then looks like everything's disappeared. And if that ever happens, just check on the Show button whether your model's turned off or not and just turn it back on again. So to get started, just download the tutorial files and put them in user data, set the current project, open the file, and then just get the hang of tumbling and shading the model. 